wanted to show you today how I make my salads for the week. The key things I want to point out to you is A, the price. It's a, somewhere between $17 to $20. So you're looking at about three and a half to $4 a day. The other thing is how quickly I make all five of these salads. And I just want to share with you just to show you how easy it is. And I use Pyrex bowls. This is kind of the key to it all. So this giant thing of greens, it's got spinach, shard, kale, and arugula. Again, green wise, you want to get micro greens as opposed to like an iceberg lettuce. So you want, you want little leaves like this. Okay. Because the smaller the leaves are, the more nutrients in it. First I put the salad in. So I pretty much use this whole box each time. All right. Put that to the side and now start the chop. Now again, I, I try to mix this stuff up. Um, I got my kind of my core ingredients here, but sometimes, you know, I'll get radishes, peppers. Of course, if it's avocados, I wouldn't put those in the day of. And actually, that reminds me too. I didn't put the nuts in here yet. So I'll show you those too. And the tomatoes. Again, we want the key things I was mentioning, like I said, nutrient variety and density. And so raw, unprocessed natural foods are going to be your highest source of nutrition and nourishment that you can get. And we want to get different, different kinds. Rules of thumb, you know, colors are typically healthier than non-colors between a green and a red pepper. The red pepper will be healthier on average. White cauliflower versus purple cauliflower. The purple cauliflower is going to be healthier. So purple carrots versus these carrots. So if you can get them. Now, you know, one thing people ask me sometimes is the conventional versus organic. I mean, ideally, if you can get organic, do it. Nutrient value between them doesn't seem to be hugely different. But again, if you can eliminate some chemicals from your body, that's always a good thing. Do that if you can. I do it when I can. All right. So, you know, I got the regular vegetables in here that you see. One of the things that makes this better in terms of satiety, so it'll make you feel more full, it's a secret weapon, beans, okay? But you can have whatever protein you want. I'm a vegetarian, so I um, obviously must stick with beans. But I do actually eat fish. So I guess I'm technically a pescatarian. But so you can put like salmon on here, filet, chicken, whatever. Uh, that's fine, you know, for protein. Get to the broccoli. You just eyeball it, split them up best I can. Now, you know, so I'm making this on a Monday. These salads last really well uh, all week. They last five days is kind of the, the max. You know, you're kind of pushing it. You got to be careful what you put in, I suppose. Sometimes if anything doesn't last, it's this right here, the cucumber. There's a lot of water in it and stuff. So that's the one that you got to be a little careful about. That's why I always put the cucumbers on top because if they've gone bad, I just pull them off and the salad's still good. That's the other big challenge I would say is the greens. One thing you really want to watch out for is uh, wet, wet greens. Because if they're wet in a bag, they're not going to last in your salad. They're not going to last in a bag if you try storing them. So that's kind of the key thing. So even if they are wet, take them out. You can put a paper towel in there with them. That seems pretty helpful. But again, you want to keep them as dry as possible because that's what's going to make them stay good for as long as possible. All right. That's good. That's good. Good to keep. I don't put too much onion, you know. You can choose whatever kind of onion you like. I like spicy stuff typically, but sometimes red onions are out of control with the spiciness. That's not really enough. Start with it. So there's some nutrient in onions that's real good for you. I refer to salads and smoothies as a living vitamin strategy. So what I mean by that is that, you know, so often we make all of our food choices based on how good something tastes. And that's fine, obviously, but the living vitamin strategy is that you, a couple times a week or a day, you make choices on what you're going to eat just based on how good it is for you. That's what I'm doing here. You know, yeah, obviously I'd, I'd rather have a sandwich, a tuna melt, something like that with chips. That's not going to serve me well health-wise over the long term. So, okay, that's it. All the salads are made. So I use shelled walnuts. You can use any nuts, but if you, and I don't put these on until I'm going to eat it. So I'll just put this on my salad that I'm going to eat today in a few minutes here, and that's that. And so I'll put these on fresh every day because they get soggy and I don't like them as much. You don't have to use walnuts. You can use almonds. You can use any kind of nut you want. But if you put like a chickpea, black bean, a protein, obviously chicken or fish or something in there, and you put some beans in there and some nuts, you're going to find that it's a really satisfying meal. And I think you're going to be shocked because if you do this for even, you know, a week, I'd give it a little bit longer, at least like two, three weeks to get used to it. But you're going to notice you feel a lot different in the afternoon. So it's just a real easy thing. Now let me make one more point. Even if you want to eat a sandwich, if you eat one of these first, you're still putting this stuff into your body, right? Imagine, think about this for a second, because this is what I think about. This is why I eat these, and that's how I got myself to eat them. Imagine putting this into your body every week. It, it makes an enormous difference in how you feel. You can still eat whatever you want other times of the day, but let's just start by kind of installing this stuff into your body and into your routine. Again, we're talking, I don't know, this couldn't have been more than 10 minutes or so to, to do all this, and the rest of the week, I just grab and go, okay, real quick. So it's cheap, it's quick, it's super healthy, and you're going to feel a lot better.